And John, with Josh Gale in the head of Hereford FC versus Portsmouth, um, as a child, what was the first FA Cup final you can recall watching? Uh, well, I'm born in Coventry, so I remember the, the, the Coventry FA Cup final that they won, so that, it's, it's probably that one. Um, I went to a lot of games um, at, at Coventry, the, the old ground, um, and really some really good memories. So, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's always been a massive competition. I think it's got probably devalued a little bit over the last couple of years, hasn't it? But, you know, for us, for clubs at this level, it's absolutely huge. Back in 1972, Hereford beat Newcastle. Um, when you came here originally in 2008 on loan, did you know much about Wendy Radford and Ricky George? Not, not when I was first on loan, but the second time I come round, it was everything. I think the first time I come round, we were in a bit of a relegation battle, so everyone was focused on, you know, getting us out of the situation we were in. But then, obviously, the second time I've, I, I came, that's all I've heard about. <laughs> <laughs> and how are the squad feeling ahead of this, you know, massive game, and for a lot of them, you know, the biggest games of their careers? Yeah, they're really they're confident. Um, they're looking forward to it. I think they're looking forward to playing in front of family and friends, um, and getting to obviously see them on on live TV on, on a, some of them on a stage they've never played on. Um, so they're really looking forward to it, and they're just doing. Obviously, we've got to nail down the final preparations. Obviously, last training session Thursday before the game Friday. How have you been able to relax the squad because we've had league games, you know, in between the the, the draw? Um, but you know that that profile of playing on BBC Two and then you know a worldwide audience on the back of that. How have you been able to relax them and keep them focused? We just not spoke about it. Oddly enough, we just we've, we've literally just put it to the side, put it in a draw, and all we've done is concentrate on the next game. Um, you know, for the lads, some of the lads, that was the biggest game at Bromley when they won that, and they were absolutely buzzing. Um, and then obviously we we had a bit of a lull against Bradford, and I, and I think that's probably refocused us. Um, and then obviously going in, and then we've had back to back wins, filed, and, and and obviously the other night, so the other day, sorry. So yeah, we've just been really focused on it. We've not spoke about we've focused on the league so we've not spoke about um the FA Cup at all but now is, is the time the lads can enjoy it. It's been an interesting four years. I think it was I think it was December twenty eighteen you came as a as a yeah. player. Um and uh Mark Richards it seems it seems decades oh, ago now. Is, yeah. Um can you can you summarize summarise those four years as a player and then a manager during you know the COVID spell as well? Yeah for me um people don't know this about me but um when I first come to the club that first loan spell um I wasn't in a great place. Um, I was at Carlisle, wasn't enjoying my football, didn't know what I wanted to do, my kind of career come to a bit of a crossroads. Um, and Hereford come knocking, Graham Turner and John Truick come and bought me and it reignited my career. And then um, again, um, at, at Torquay, uh, many years later, um, you know, Mrs. Pregnant, and then I ended up going on loan at um, Alfreton for a period and, and I wasn't sure what I wanted to do, I was, I was kind of playing retiring. And then again, uh, Rico brought me in, come knocking, and, and it, re it reignited my career. So the club's always been there for me in, in some of my kind of darkest moments as a player, um, and the club means so much to me. So you know, being able to take over a, a, as a manager has been such a privilege, um, and there's, there's been a lot of work to be done. I, I would say I, I don't think people really understand what this club means to myself and, and the work we put in. Obviously, myself, the staff, and the, and the people behind the scenes to make sure this club keeps running. But, you know, there's really good people at this football club that love the club and, and, and want to keep it going and, and they're gatekeeping and looking after it. I think it's the big thing. I think that's not happened in the past and, and with the people at this football club now, that will we'll make sure that happens. And finally, have you got a message for the supporters on Friday? Just look forward to seeing you. <laughs> <laughs> look forward to seeing you. I look forward to, for them cheering us on and, you know, hopefully we can do it for them.